Hello. Today I would like to show you how to connect and consume a data warehouse cloud view in Microsoft Power BI. To connect and consume SAP Data Warehouse Cloud view within Power BI, we need to have some other things in mind and already set up before using. At first, let's check if we have an ODBC data source 64-bit already available. You see, I see uh, I created it already. In my former video, you can take a look to it, how to create a specific entry here under the ODBC data source within Windows. And what I also prepared to do a example here and step-by-step -step introduction, I created already within the data warehouse cloud a small scenario where we have a transactional file available, a sales document information file, and a customer file. And this is what I used within this view here to collect the information out of the transactional file and join it then with further data coming out of the other files. What you need to ensure is that this setup here for the view which you would like to consume is set to expose for consumption. That means with this switch to on, this view is visible for connection or connections out of the SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. With this one, it is ensured that we can connect to it. Okay, let's start with Power BI now. What we can do now is to click on Get Data. And now we get the normal screen from Power BI where we can go through all the connectors and search for ODBC. Here we have ODBC, but what we can do is also, we type in here ODBC. This is a kind of filtering. I mark the ODBC, click on connect. Then the predefined the ODBC connection is already chosen. Also the other ones are displayed. By clicking OK, Power BI connects to the SAP Data Warehouse Cloud and provides me all the schemas the database user is authorized for. Under Test, which is my test space, I see now my sales values view within Power BI. I can mark it that I would like to import the data or load the data. The system or Power BI checks the values, imports, and creates the model. Here we see that we have all the fields and also the key figure available. By clicking on the data tape here on the left side, we can see that the data is imported and ready to use. Out of this, we can now build a short a short chart and we use, let's use the sales document. Sorry, we have the value now displayed. And what we can do is now, uh, out of the customer, we build an I R key, drag and drag and drop the customer name, or by by adding it with a click on the checkbox, we can see that the values are displayed now. And with this, you can consume data out of the SAP Data Warehouse Cloud directly within Power BI. Build your dashboards here based on all the uh, available functionalities within Power BI. Thank you.